Never underestimate the power of Alan! No more cut on versus Orn. I should have gone cut on versus Orn. That is correct. But I mean, I've noticed that like even maybe not necessarily. The thing about cut down is like right, it allows you to kill tanks better, right? But with fleet footwork cool, you can't really kill tanks. You're not really building damage. So like even though you're dealing damage to Orn, like how relevant is the damage really? Meanwhile, last stand will for sure help against all of the other champions. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Yeah, so I think Teemo's win rate will increase by quite a bit and people will be like fucking Teemo buffs. But the actual reason... I... <laughs> so yeah. I guess our win condition is just the bot lane going crazy. So like, you can't really kill Orn again. You just can't. So you should always focus more on CS and denying CS. Like it doesn't mean that you don't have to harass, but uh, it's not that impactful really. So for example, there I could have auto-attacked him, but I actually auto-attacked the minion instead. Doran's ring Q kills that. I have missed 70% of my cannons this stream so far. But I guess bot lane is better. timing yeah you want to eat that you sure you want to eat that Man, he's just getting all the CS. I don't know how much better of a job I can do at harassing him. I can always just go into a bush if Kha'Zix ganks me. Like, I don't know how to deny CS. What the fuck?
Usually I would go... Uh, I'd go Swiftness Boots here, but I'm feeling confident this game. I'm not sure, does Orn R review me? Like, for example, here, if Kha'Zix is in this bush, he isn't, but if he were... Like, I have an easier time checking for vision here. Try to get this blue buff. One ult reveals, but why? Both are knockups, but this E doesn't reveal. I did not expect him to nearly die. An enemy has been slain. Yes, it was. Oh, did it reveal? I didn't actually check. No, he didn't throw his ult, so. enough damage. Hmm. Is it worth losing two? Reporting in. See, that's why I don't like pink words. Because now, right, right, he placed it. That's a 100 gold swing right there. I got 30 gold, he missed 30 gold. I think I have to be careful now. I think I'll just base on my cool prop. An 
enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Oops. Missed that. I just want one more wave. Yeah, I guess that's my problem, like, control wars are for places that you control, you know? But he doesn't have control over that, he's the melee champion against me. He has zero control, so I can just walk in and take it. Oh man, I guess bot lane isn't piss smurfing after all. anything real actually I can try to steal blue buff again because Orn will just catch top lane yep like who needs mana buffs if you can just take the enemy blue buff Right, just take the enemy blue buff for it. This is how you use your pushes, like right? Getting those two blue buffs is pretty big for our team. Could have also used that moment to take rocks actually. I'll do that now. Can I get one more plate? I doubt it. Yeah, sure. You can try. Always kind when he just allows me. Your team has destroyed a turret. See, like, I miss every kind of minion, but because I get this, it's like it's not even visible. Killing spree. An enemy has been slain. Okay, my jungler can take this. There's no reason for me to just drop this wave. Nah. Okay, fuck. I will help him. What the fuck? So usually I would suggest you to uh, to split push here. I'm ready to flash if, I, if he flashes. I hear sex flash. I'm making him use vision. Rampage. 
See, and now like, they've got this anyways, they don't need my help. So why drop top lane waves? Okay, I feel like my Draven is slightly trolling by going for that. If we don't get the dragon now. Wonder if I could have saved them. gonna come so there is no point in you are slaying an enemy No idea why they're still moving forward. Guess it's unlucky, but it's also just poorly played. Guess they don't have shutdowns. This is why I'm in Sonya. I saw Silas ping that he's coming up, right? And I know that they use the majority of their stuff and they still have thumbs up, so I can go for flippy things. I guess let's go for dragon. I'm gonna keep going here because I need them to think that we're not on Baron.
Like, again, if I'm in there, that means I'm probably not at the Baron. This guy is having so much fun with it. It's, it's slightly tilting for me because it's like we're constantly threatening to throw the game. on Silas is pretty disgusting. I mean, we're so hopelessly at. Okay, really good game. I, I feel like, guys, this is gonna go onto YouTube simply because I feel like this is a really good demonstration of how even if it seems like in a matchup nothing can happen you can still get a really big advantage why to kind of summarize um like right even if you can't get to the tower because you just full clears you can still steal uh enemy camps right you can still keep him pushed up so that he can never roam so that he never has autonomy to do anything and then also, like, right, I knew that Kha'Zix or Victor could come. I thought Kha'Zix would gank me level 4 or 5, but Victor ganked me level 4 or 5. But uh, it didn't matter, right? I still baited them, I still got their time, and in the end uh, killed Orm because of it. So, like, as long as you play correctly, do your part, and get small advantages, eventually they can snowball into bigger ones. If I played this poorly and died, like, 5 times, maybe the Orn would have been big enough to let the game transition into mid-late game, where Victor could carry the game.
Never underestimate the power of the Scout's Code. Hut Code. Hut Code. Hut Two Three Scout's Code. Hut Code. Hut Hut Two Three Four. Yes, sir.